class, I wanted to give a little bit more information on the expectations for this assignment because it can get a little bit confusing. So what we're going to do is we're going to create four different space plan options. So what I have done is I have created four layers as described in the assignment. So I have an A wall full option A, option B, option C, and option D. So right now I'm looking at my um, option A floor plan. So I've put in some fixtures in the different gallery spaces. I've put in some furniture in the office. Um, and this is all on the option A layer. So I also have, let me switch to option B. So option B is a different scheme. Um, but it's all on the same plan. So I've got my base plan X ref'd in, and you guys will, of course, have your restroom layouts as well. I don't have that on this particular drawing. And then I also have an option C. And again, I'm just looking at the different spaces, just thinking about some ideas of different displays. This being a CAD class, I'm not really going to be grading you on your space planning, uh, but have it make some sense. Um, you know, think about it in terms of the space, but I really want you to be focusing on the CAD skills more than the design aspect of it. So then let's take a look at option D. Okay, another scheme. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thaw all of those layers. So you can see they are all on the same plan. They are, you know, are just different versions. I'm using the layers to organize them. So the way that I'm going to present these four different ideas is I'm going to create four different sheets. And, and we're going to be using the design development title block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. So create a copy and I'm going to call this one option A, oops, there we go. I'm going to make another copy. Actually, you know what, I'm going to make this one first and then I'm going to make my copy. So for option A, now I want to go on my viewport layer, make that current, and put in a viewport. So I'm going to put in my viewport. I'm going to scale it. I believe it's asking for one eighth of an inch. So let's take a look at how that works. Yep. So let me just pan a little bit to get the plan sort of centered here and stretch my viewport a little bit. Okay. So now I've got my plan in here and it's showing all four options. So the important part of this assignment is how you um, manage your layers for the different views. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click into my viewport to make it active. I'm going to open my layer manager and I'm going to find my um, my space planning option layers and I want this to be option A. So what I want to do is I want to freeze option B, C, and D but only in this viewport. So I'm going to be looking for this VP freeze column. So I'm going to look for B, C, and D and freeze those in that viewport. I'm going to close that and now you can see that I'm only seeing the information for option A. But if I go back out into model space everything is still there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of option A and create option B. Let me rename it. Oops, try that again. Option B. And you can, you know, get these, drag these into whatever order that you want so that if it, we want it to go option A, option B. Okay, so option B is a copy of option A. So right now we're still looking at option A. So I'm going to click back into my viewport, go back into my layer properties, and this time I'm going to thaw option B in my viewport and freeze option A in my viewport. Click back out of my viewport. So now I'm looking at option B. If I go back to option A, it's still showing that plan. Option B is showing this version. So again, I'm going to copy. I'm going to rename, make this one option C. Click into my viewport. 
and this time I'm going to thaw option C and freeze option B. And now let me do option D. Create a copy. Rename option D. And again, I'm going to do this VP freeze, thaw my D, and freeze my C. So now what I've got are four sheets that are showing my different floor plan options. I'm using layers to organize the information and using the, the layer, the freezing in the viewport to cr control the different views. And we're going to keep doing this um, as we continue with the project. So it's an important skill to understand because it allows you to set up these sheets and not have to freeze and thaw layers to plot, um, which invariably leads to forgetting one. And then, you have got, you, then you've got the wrong information. So this way you can set it up and then not have to mess with it. You can just go in and adjust it. So give it a try. Let me know if you have questions as you're going along.